Hey guys, welcome to another video. How are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? If you're new, hey, welcome. Do not forget to subscribe. And if you're a returning subscriber, mm, thank you so much for coming back. I really, really appreciate it. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the books I read in September. As you all know, and I keep saying, <laughs> September was my birth month, but I had really, really nice reads honestly i had a lot of five stars oh my god and then i had some that were a little bit not up to par but you know yeah among the books i picked in my september tbr video um i didn't get to the fault in our stars i didn't get to children of blood and bone and the children of something and virtue i didn't get to the, those three books but those are the only three books i didn't get to so that being said let me tell you guys about everything so the first book I read is The Nightingale by Christine Anna. Oh my god, this woman, Christine Anna, she's something else. So I body read this with my friends Kenny and Promise and it was a very, very, very crazy ride. So it talks about these girls, Vian and Isabel Moriac. They are sisters, but something happened where the father actually doesn't want to be involved in their lives. So um, Isabel faced a different fate while Vian also faced a different fate. They lost their mother and things actually went upside down. So then the book also talks about the war that happened, the Nazis war, the Germans and the Parisians. I wanted to use that word. And how these girls have a role to play in this war. Honestly, it felt so realistic. I know Christina Anna writes historical fiction, so definitely it's not really real, but we know that the war was really bad and it was depicted. In fact, I, I said it in my review that I know that this book is only scratching the surface of what really happened during the Nazi war, but it was heartbreaking. So um, Isabel has a very, very stubborn personality. She wants to do something. She doesn't want to just allow things happen she doesn't want to be passive while vian is more like the passive one because she's older than isabel and she was there when the mother was alive and also when the mother died when their mother died and she went through her own phase of depression so she doesn't want anything that will come and just you know turn things upside down but my god whose life is not turned upside down when there's war yeah right so um i cried in this book <laughs> Because there were some things that happened that you feel like, okay, I thought it's over, but it's not over. And that I, that's one thing with Christine Anna. <sighs> Guys, I gave it a five stars. It's worth it. The next book I read is You Deserve Each Other by Sarah Ogle. I was so excited to read this. I've seen really nice reviews about this book. And I was, you know, looking forward to that. But... It talks about Naomi and Nathaniel. Is it Nathaniel? Oh, no. It's not Nathaniel. It's Nicholas. So, it starts with the fact that they are engaged and they're about to be married in, like, three months or six months. I can't really get the time frame. But she doesn't want to be married to him anymore because other things. He doesn't want to be the one to break the relationship with her. So, she takes it as her own, <laughs> her own job to make him break up with her so that she would be exonerated from this situation ship so we go in with their lives and see how things are working out but guys i have not i've not seen a character that is an overthinker as much as naomi is she was just overthinking things like there's some things that Na nicholas means to do in this way but she she takes it as this way and she doesn't even oh it was so annoying I, it was so annoying guys this book was built on miscommunication trope. If you like miscommunication, no problem. You can read this and maybe you like it. But me, I, I, it was funny. Honestly, I was tapping it. It was funny, but it is definitely one of those books that will not be staying on my bookshelf for. But man, it was funny. I was laughing, but no, no. One thing I liked about the book is that it talks about how the pressure of satisfying your email in, in laws. <laughs> That's the image what the pressure plays in your marriage basically it can uh make you turn against each other as a couple and stuff like that but my god <laughs> and nicholas himself has his own bad part so maybe that is why it is titled you deserve each other that's all i have to say i gave it a three stars <sighs> guys i had to look for the audiobook for this 
to be able to read it because the girl started pissing me off. I, she was just mis, misinterpreting everything. She was thinking so wrongly. It, oh, I don't know. Yeah. Ooh, I read this Wonder Queen by Rachel Gillig. This, this. Okay, so it talks about Elspeth Spindle in the town where she is born. There is a kind of sickness, and if you catch this sickness, you would be infected by magic. And once you are infected by magic, something starts to happen to you. You start to deteriorate. That means you start to uh, die slowly and painfully. But the king of this particular town or city or kingdom, uh, he kills. He, he it captures you when immediately you have the infection it captures you and then it kills you before you even before they even think about the fact that you had the magic or not but our own parents actually hid her and so she got ill from the from the infection but then they try to watch her to see if she has magic because if she has magic then they would you know they would know whether to take her to the king or not but she did not show any signs of having magic so our father just sent her to another place to go and live yeah unknown to all of them that she has a monster in her head and this monster is called the nightmare <laughs> oh my god i guy i don't know what is up with me and having when when someone has somebody in their head like look in uh, the invisible life of adela rue i was in love with him when he gets to his pov or when he starts to talk oh my god i i, I liked it but here the nightmare is actually very funny i really liked him not very funny i mean he he has a very nice sense of humor and it the way he talks to her yes oh my god and he protects her but then she kind of meets raven raven is the captain of the dextrous and the dextrous are the people that actually that are sent by the king to capture you if you are infected and so so there's this kind of romance that's gonna happen between them i really really liked it i really liked it because oh my god there's so many things basically just read this book okay if you cannot tell by how excited i am read this book so um in this world there are some tarot cards and or we call them providence cards and there are other cards apart from that the chalice the twin elders and the king is trying to lift the course in their kingdom because there was a deal with one it's a long story but honestly the audio book for this would would make you love it because when you listen to the way the the audio narrator you know uh, the way she was changing her voice when it's the nightmare talking and when it's elspeth talking honestly i like that name elspeth spindle and when she's when the audiobook narrator says elspeth spindle oh my god i gave this five stars guys i don't know i love this book i can't wait to actually jump into the next one okay the next book i read is siege and storm and stage or siege and storm by labor dugo and ruin and rising i gave siege and storm three stars and i gave ruin and rising four stars because a lot was happening but nothing was happening i like the fact that she became stronger she became resilient but then i didn't like the love palava that was happening you felt like it was this person that was the love interest then the next thing is this person that is the love interest i don't like that i just i just don't like it so i was bored 90 percent of the time but i think the last 30 percent of the book was worth it because something happened there that was so crazy then in rune and rising the war the fight and then the twist there was a plot twist that i really really liked i i didn't see that coming and yeah I think this all Shadow and Bones trilogy, I don't know if it's necessary for you to read it if you don't want to, but I am getting into Six of Crows. I am finally happy because the reason why I was even reading the Shadow and the Bone trilogy in the first place was because I wanted to read um, Six of Crows. So, yes. So, guys, the next book I read is The Only One Left by Riley Sega. This is a thriller and it's about a particular lady. She went to work as a caregiver in a particular house that is on top of the hill now there's a particular story about this house the person who lives in this house all our family are well all our family are dead and people believed that she was the one who killed them so everybody doesn't like that particular woman but this girl is going to go and take care of her because she she's sick and stuff like that the reason why she's even going to 
take care of this particular woman, Lenora. Her name is Lenora Hope. I, I still remember. Oh my God. The reason why she's going there is because of something that happened with her job and she felt like that's the only option left. So we get to see what happened. Honestly, guys, this book was so freaking twisted. It was so crazy because I didn't see... Well, you, you would think you saw it coming, but you did not see it coming you will not see it coming actually i did not see it coming okay let me just personalize this because you might actually (laughs) see it coming but i did not i was so so dumbfounded i gave this five stars honestly it was beautifully written and also the fact that this particular woman she has stroke so she cannot type she cannot move she cannot do anything so but she can type on the typewriter so she decided to tell her story to the other but so many other things were just unraveling as that was happening it was so so good I recommend then you guys know i went to lagos and in lagos kenny hi and ore we read fourth wing guys i don't know why it took me so long to read this book <laughs> i love it so much so it's about a particular um school see i've forgotten the old world building thing that happened here but there was a lot of world building but not so intense not so dramatic that you cannot understand i like how it was even integrated into the story because you get to learn more about the school as the story is happening as it's unfolding so there's this particular girl violet her mother is one of the generals and in this particular school you can either be a scribe or a writer now Juliet wanted uh, I said Juliet Jesus I meant Violet what's my dress green bala blue Juliet wanted to be in the scribe quadrant because she is very small and not strong and she has a type of sickness so she cannot be in the rider's quadrant but her mother forced her to enter into that rider's quadrant and then there's a particular guy Zayden that wants to kill her but trust me everybody wants to kill her in that school so that's what made this oh this this whole book was just so fun i really really enjoyed it guys i gave it five stars i cried oh guys tell me you guys cried at the part of um what's her name i forgot the name of this dragon but oh, i cried everybody wants to kill her and she has to find ways to survive then one thing i like about uh, violet is she's very smart she is very very smart so she doesn't just allow things to happen she she knows that okay she's small she cannot do this so she find a way to do it in a way that she would not die because if you die that's the end that's the end like basically people keep dying like like rain is falling no rain like sun is shining in nigeria because sun is always shining but you get the gist so um zayden is our worst enemy but they become lovers oh, guys the dragons when the dragons are talking to they're so cute and dana oh my god when andana talks we me kenny and aura will be like oh <laughs> there's so many times i said oh i know that i'm talking like this because i i'm just reading it but you guys already know because most everybody almost everybody has read it and i can't wait to get into iron flame immediately i gave this five stars it is five stars there's nothing anybody can tell me kenny and aura gave it four stars and i'm looking at them like this like, what's wrong with you? Four stars. Come on. Yeah, but it's okay. Four stars, I can still take that. At least they didn't give it, like, three or something. I would have been so freaking angry. But, yeah. I love, I love this. I love it so much. The next book I read was The Neighbor Favor. I gave this one a 3.5 stars. I read it on my Kindle. It's about a particular girl. And she's an overthinker when it comes to relationship. She wants to work in a publishing industry that publishes kids books but she's not in that field yet so she's trying to get her life together but her family keep on trying to make her be like her sisters because her sisters are more established than she is at this point and also there's a particular book that she loves so much and the author of this book one day she decided to check more about this author and then she now discovered that the author has a website and she decided to contact this author like just to say her thoughts you know she didn't expect the author to reply and then the author replied and he was chatting with her and all that and everything was going smoothly they were communicating by honestly i really loved reading their letters to one another the emails to one another but then all of a sudden he just stops chatting with her uh, and he says i'm not who you think i am and then she's heartbroken so fast forward to the future they meet but they don't know that he knows but she didn't know so yeah it was a very very nice ride but i just felt like this guy has the worst case imposter syndrome i've ever read about in my life and 
it's a very very nice representation i really really enjoyed seeing how he would overcome that but i feel like this was something that he's supposed to have worked on he had a lot of time to work on it but then again you know people are different so i'm not going to say that i i i'm judging him or anything but i really enjoyed the story it was cute it was sweet it was nice yes so i like this book because the characters are not white and i really like that it's different a whole different fresh vibe then i went to read the second book <laughs> okay so if you i already talked about one dark window and you guys already saw how i was crazy about it i really love that book so much oh my god if you listen to the audiobook you will enjoy yourself this was another five stars in this particular book we uh we're no longer seeing only elspeth and raven's pov we're seeing elspeth's pov we're seeing the nightmares pov we're seeing elm's pov and we're seeing ioni's so a little bit of ioni and raven so so many things get unraveled in this book honestly it was so so good i really really liked it i really liked it a lot like this, the whole story just took a old twist and i was like oh, what the flip you know <laughs> it was so good even promise that i read this way was like yes yes this is better than the first for her but for me they are both of them are five stars there's nothing you can tell me the last one i read recently is yours truly by avi Jimenez. i felt like i was in a, in a slump before picking this book but i'm glad i did because it was funny okay so it talks about these two doctors brianna and um jacob jacob i really love jacob's representation in this book because he was representing people that are introverts that are that have anxiety issues and it was so well done normally it's always the okay so brianna also was going through her own thing because she's just going through a divorce and yeah and her brother needs a kidney donor which they have not been able to find so things are really really hard for both of them but it's the way she just understands him. And the craziest part, the craziest part is Jacob's ex-girlfriend is getting married to his junior brother. I don't know if he's junior or senior, but to his brother. So it's kind of a weird thing that was going on in the family and he needs to overcome his anxiety. He needs to be a little bit more accommodating of people and then brianna comes in and honestly it, it was actually really beautiful okay so at first i thought that there wasn't going to be any miscommunication but then the miscommunication towards the end was just so overwhelming and i was so angry i was like this is something you guys should just say and stop overthinking but you know i don't know if there's any romance book out there that doesn't have miscommunication because i would really really like to read such a book so um guys i love jacob's family dynamics oh my god and even brianna's family too i really really loved it i enjoyed this story so much it was actually really fun and funny and enlightening and yeah i learned some things about kidney and um i don't know if it is diastasis or something so it's it's really cool so i gave this a 4.5 stars yeah so that's all guys thank you so much for watching please let me know which one you have read and loved and the ones you didn't like i am i am just so not that happy with you deserve each other basically so i'll see you guys in my next video deuces subscribe okay subscribe <laughs> deuces